Yo, what's up, guys? So it's been about three years since I made a video talking, going over how to speed ramp. So I figured it's time for an updated version. Please, if I help you out in any way, I would appreciate it if you guys could leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and leave a like, and leave a comment showing your support. With that being said, let's get right into this tutorial. Okay, so from that preview, I'm assuming you guys do want to learn how to do that. Not too sure. We're going to jump straight into it. So here I am making a new composition. My frame rate will be 30. Um, you can have it 23. Actually, for the sake of music videos, um, I'm going to have it 23 frames because that's probably like, you know, what everyone uses. So the clips I'm going to be using are 120 FPS. But that doesn't mean you're not allowed to do this if you're anything under this frame rate on your video clip. If your video clip is 30 FPS, 23 FPS, 24 FPS, 60 FPS, you can do this. The only difference is, as you see on the screen, they'll be warping. And what the warping is, is the frame blending trying to smoothen out your video because you're not at the proper frame rate to be really slowing it down. So it basically just makes your video smooth so you won't see the choppiness if you had frame blending disabled. I have all my markers placed. That's where all my keyframes and you know tire map will be synced to. So I'm gonna drag and drop my clips onto this uh, composition. Okay, so now this is what my timeline looks like with all the clips synced to the beat. Okay, so see it's nice synced, but it's you know full normal speed. So when you're timer mapping, one thing you always want to pay attention to is how long your clip is and what type of clip you have. So for example, let me pre-comp this and show you something. So here I have one clip that's just this length. So it's one all the way here, not even basically one second. It's a one second clip. This is a clip. This is a one second clip. The difference is I can drag this to extend the clip as long as I want to. There's more to this clip, but going to the one second clip, as you see, I can extend it. I can only make it shorter. So for example, when you're cutting a video and a director gives you a video fully cut, this is something you got to pay attention to the time mapping that you see here that I will show you some of them you won't be able to do because you won't get that full speed and it'll be very just minimal. It would look very bad. So let me show you an example of that. So here, let's see if I just did a generic go here put this up to where he puts his arms out and you see here i can adjust to wherever in the video i wanted to start because i have a longer clip besides this one if i timer map as you see if i want to go any farther it'll be a freeze frame if i want to go forward it'll be a black screen i don't have much to play with with this one second clip if you do want to start doing timer map on your videos just tell the director to give you the clips and you just cut it or if he cuts it make sure he gives you the project file so you're able to have the extended clips so let's just disable that for later now for this we're going to start here so you always want to make sure that you have a decent amount of room to play with when you're timer mapping you don't want it to be too far away from the point you want it to slow down at because then it'll just look rough so for example a good spot is his arms being open that's where i want it to slow down and then i'll make the keyframe probably go back so we'll do a reverse so just keep dragging your timeline back just like that put this keyframe one frame i usually do one frame before you can put it here it's not really a big difference this is what i do though so i'll put this point more towards the end and now i'm gonna highlight over these keyframes right click easy ease just like that so now to get into the graph click on a keyframe hit this graph editor on the left side of your screen now we're here this is not that complicated don't get you know overwhelmed with this all you got to do to make sure your graph looks like this is check this little second box here make sure it's on value graph not speed graph if you see this this is wrong you want to make sure you're on value graph that's very important now some people do use the plugin flow i don't because you're always going to end up tweaking it regardless if you have that preset so don't waste your time don't be lazy just do it manually Manually each time that's my advice so now with this first keyframe i'm gonna bump this all the way up so basically when it goes up it's gonna be speeding when it's flat it's gonna be slowing down so here the first keyframe you always want it to go up because you want it to go fast and then slow so we're gonna put this up and for the middle keyframe which is where you want it to slow down we're gonna drag this more to the left now a trick i use if you leave it if you hold shift and just move it to the left it's gonna end up freezing like this and that's not what you want you see i'm moving it and it's literally a still frame what i do is i go on this the middle keyframe on the yellow dot for it we're gonna go here i'm gonna hold down alt left alt click on it and drag down what that does it's it rotates it so where it's just continuously slowing down it won't stop at a single frame so as you see it's still moving still moving and now it continues on that's 
what it that's basically flow so you always want the video to move it's if it starts to be a single frame the video just ends up being choppy and trash so here with the ending one this is going to be moving don't really tweak out with that just make sure you move it appropriately like that all the way to the end and then this one just up as well so this is reversing so just going back to like the first frame but in a faster motion so now this is a 120 frame clip so we don't really have to do much but i'm just going to enable frame blending anyway so it's this box right here just double click like that and now you'll get something like this nice and neat just like that it's really that simple now we're gonna go into the next clip so this clip is gonna be a multi keyframe clip because as you hear in the song it's like different parts where you can sync it to it's like you know it's just i don't know me personally that's what i'm when i'm hearing i can sync it to certain parts of the song you might be different so what i'm gonna do is just right click timer map so we're gonna put our first keyframe here we're gonna go to the second keyframe where we want it to slow down we're just gonna pick our you know our spot i feel like this is good enough because you know he's close and he backs up it's perfect now we can do to speed it up and then two we'll stop it where he does the peace sign like that and then at the end we'll just do probably just keep going ahead yeah just like that and then we'll put that in the end so we have right now we have five points we have the, the start the second keyframe got the third one and then you got you know your ending so this is what it looks like without any like easy ease very uh you know sloppy so highlight over them again same process right click easy ease now we're gonna go into the graph editor like i said don't get overwhelmed what we're gonna do is the same process also good tip if you see that it's very like close like this if you see over here if you see that this is very close together a trick that i use is you hit this magnifying glass right here make sure it's unchecked you click and hold left control and scroll up on your scroll wheel it'll extend the graph so you can see more of it which is very useful and helpful here first keyframe do the same process as we did in the start as well as here what we're gonna do is what i like to do i'm gonna move this since i wanted to kind of move on this marker i'm gonna move the marker here what i'm gonna do is move this here as well so it's in between the markers now this is some real sauce so make sure you pay attention because i don't know how to describe this or explain this at all so what i'm gonna do here just, you just gotta pay attention so here i'm gonna also do a graph like this now it's very weird but bear with me so now i'm gonna do the left alt go like that so it's staying in motion at all times and now here there's you see there's no key point here basically this graph makes it where i don't need a keyframe here for it to speed up or slow down what i'm doing is i am making these individual points in between the main flow point this point this high point right here is where it'll go fast and slow so if we just put a point in between it it'll be perfect for like this graph is just perfect for it and now for this one do the same thing just like that probably zoom it up like that make sure it goes up on the keyframe it has to balance in between just like this left alt go up a little bit you're left alting and tilting them all a little bit because you don't want no singular frames and choppiness within your edit so now we can click this back it'll be back to normal we can enable frame blending and this is what it will look like So now obviously it might look a little choppy just like this but this is without effects um at the end when i once i time up everything i'm going to add pan crop and show you guys how to do that so just bear with me so for this one it's going to be pretty simple just like the first one we did just going to enable a keyframe here I like when he does this like this and then probably do a reverse and put that one keyframe before this one on the little snare hit highlight like over them easy ease and then same process Just like that, enable frame blending. That's what we got. Just like that. Now for this one, same as well. Time enable time wrapping. Go a couple of keyframes ahead and just highlight easy ease. just like that that's how i would graph it and then you get something like this if it is too sharp for your liking you can always go back into the graph and always tweak the first keyframe go down a little bit and you'll get something like this
See, it's, it flows nice, transitions nice, it's damn near perfect. It just has no effect, so it looks pretty bland. Now for the last one, this is also another three point uh, clip, the time wrap. So just bear with me as well. So here, first keyframe. So we're gonna do arms out, middle keyframe, and then the gun point, just like that just like this and then a couple keyframes ahead for the last one so we have our points easy ease just like this now you can always put them wherever you feel like it flows best that is personal preference for me i feel like it'll be best here so for the first keyframe we're going to do same process go up this one like that and then here actually scratch what i did so i took out the other keyframe so in between the two markers where i would want the you know clip to flow at I put the keyframe in between them and with the graphs i've done i made it where it just flows perfectly so on this beat the line goes up meaning it'll go faster on this beat and slow down as well with the beat and then and then keyframe goes forward so here just look at this just like that so fast slow fast again slow just like that perfect this is how you flow and you see it's consistent movement because i don't have them like like still so look i'm gonna hold shift and it's gonna be flat look at the difference in the motion you see how choppy it is with the normal flow that i taught you it'll look like this way better flow way more motion and way more you know looks more seamless just buttery smooth let's look at the final product so i did notice that the u is a little delayed so what i'm gonna do is just move this more that way or this way like this so i fixed it so now the u is on point with him aiming at the, the camera just like that flows way better perfect all about tweaking and and knowing how to graph graphing is very important when you're time wrapping and just knowing placements that's basically it so here we have this so i don't like the way this is a little choppy so let me like i said if you see this above your middle piece definitely bring it down you never want it above because then it'll go over meaning it will add extra seconds to the clip and then go back a couple seconds and you don't want that because it'll look bad just like this this is what my graphing looks like for everything all the keyframes i'm gonna show you here these are all the keyframes for the individual clips and this is how buttery smooth the time map becomes and this is how you really master the flow it takes practice and a lot of time to perfect it with how you want it everyone's different at the end of the day and every song choice is different so yeah but that's this type of time wrapping if i did inform you with a lot of information in this video the graphing and how to speed ramp please leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new leave any comments with future tutorials you'd like to see next and yeah catch you in the next video peace out